Well, really, first of all, in terms of the match itself, that's a that's a decent point, isn't it, given the way things turned out? It's true. It's a very good point. And in the end of the game, we can judge as a good point. In the beginning of the game, the, the work of the week, the idea is clear, keep the winning mentality. But uh, as the game goes on, I think it's a fair point for both teams. I think the way that we start the game, the plan that we've got to the game, we start well. We start the game controlling the game and then comes a goal. There was a moment on the game that we lost a little bit to control and they, they scored two goals. In the second half, I think the subs changed the game. We can uh, we control better the game and create more chances again. That's what we want with the subs. Yeah, the end to the first half would have been really disappointing for you, for you as a coaching staff, I guess, because for 40 minutes, the plans worked again, like it did last week. Yeah, true. We know that during the 90 minutes, it's impossible to be under control in the game for forever. So in that kind of moments, we need to be a little bit, but that's part of football. Sometimes it's happened. We, in certain, in the momentum of the game, we lost a little bit over there and we were punished for the two goals. Uh, but in the second half, as you say, you had to withstand a bit of pressure, didn't you, in the first 10, 15 minutes or so, but it's a lovely goal on the counter-attack. Yeah, I think they, they realise the space that they've got. They make their decision points better. Morgan dra drops a little bit to make the, their decision points and we take advantage from that. Yeah, and Pleased with the, with the goal again, like last week at Anfield, two substitutes combined with, with, to, to get you the, the, the equaliser this week. It's true. I think it's not talking about the, the subs, but talking about all the players. All the players are involved in the process. We start with 11, but the other players know what to do if they come to the pitch, that probably what happens if they score a goal like that. So we come to the flashpoint <laughs> at the end of the game. Um, well, let me just ask you, what was what was your view of, of Morgan's tackle? I just want to give you my... Sometimes we, we've get, I'm going to give you a view from the bench. My first thought from the bench was, was a fair tackle, you know, a good tackle, like you call it here. It's a good tackle. Uh, in that moment, that's what, that was my thought. Of course, uh, they, they just in other way, they make other decisions. It's their decisions. Sometimes it's... And we need to respect their decisions. It looked as if the referee at first had agreed with you that he thought it was a good tackle. Did, did, uh, you, when do you think he changed his mind? Uh, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. The image of Rov showing the ball, I didn't see that. I think most of the referees, and I think it's a good point, they took that time to have a shot, a conversation about the situation, and they can, then can change about the point of view. If it's the right decision, Nothing to say. I need to see better demons to have a, a clear decision. But I'm not a referee. <laughs> <laughs> and clearly, both head coaches were were not happy because they both ended up, both Fabian Herzl and Nuno, with with red cards. Uh, to be honest, I don't know why what Anthony heard about, uh, but I don't heard nothing from the mouth of Nuno that uh, justifies a red card. Of course, he defend he defend his own team. He has said uh, just uh, make try to make his own decision. But I didn't hear nothing that justifies. But again, I was far. I don't know what Anthony Taylor heard for the for the red cards. And you'll be in charge next week. Yes, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. It, this is about the teamwork. It's about the plan is uh, only one plan, only one voice, and we keep the same together. And unbeaten, unbeaten start to the season goes on. You've had some tough away games. Obviously, Liverpool last week, Brighton here. They're also unbeaten at the start of the season as well. So three away games and two home games, unbeaten after five. It's a good start to the season. It's true, very good start of the season. The the lads keep this effort to to be unbeaten. We just need now next game to be at home and get the three points. Hope you can. Thanks, Rui. Thank you. Thank you.